Well, I don't get along with Gary too much, and, uh, philosophically, but and I, I really I don't like his view of nature at all. It's extreme. But I think, you know, he's made a point here he didn't necessarily answer uh, about, you know, nature being, you know, the nature of living things being about consumption and reproduction. And the fact that, yes, animal species will sometimes reproduce and consume in an unsustainable way and face extinction. And, you know, his, his example of where his idea is coming from can be derived in all the animals that, you know, go extinct by a natural cause besides, you know, taking, you know, take, putting to the side those that go, have gone extinct because of humans, animals still go extinct even in a natural situation, and, and this is sort of why. Um, and I also think he has a point when he wants to blame humans for the problems of civilization. Um, I don't know where you think the element of the damaging element of civilization is coming from if it's not an expression of humans. But I will add one other thing is that what I think it comes from is man's enslavement of man. Um, beaten down slaves are not as likely to think straight about their strength and powers as living creatures and they act strange. So, I do think we can blame humans. I think we can blame civilization insofar as civilization has been built on the structure of oppression and slavery. But I think he makes a, you know, a point worth answering um, when he talks about you know, nature. There's no, there's no guarantee in nature that the guy with the broken ankle is not going to be left behind. That kind of thing does happen. Um, it happens often. Animals don't have the means to go ahead and uh, treat someone or slow down for some animal that is, is injured, and that animal's likely to be subject to predation. And that is the way, you know, of nature, and there's a certain, you know, there's a certain natural rightness to it, like it has to be that way. Humans can rise above that, and um, sometimes you see them rise above it, you know, using civilization, sometimes you see them sink below it using civilization. So I, I don't see how the concept of civilization uh, leads to that in such a way that if you remove civilization, that suddenly people's behaviors will be more enlightened and good.